Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot and welcome to MakerQuest. In this episode, we're going to learn how to build our very own oscilloscope. Woohoo! So, first of all, I guess it helps to kind of talk about why we would need an oscilloscope and what it actually does. So, this is an oscilloscope. Uh, it's a very, very small one. Uh, what's really awesome about it is that it's like 20 bucks or so. Um, and plus shipping and handling, so maybe 30 or $40. But a lot of oscilloscopes that you're gonna see on the market are upwards of $100. So this is a really great way to kind of use it for hobbyist purposes or for, you know, just your low budget needs. And I'm kind of all about that. So this actually comes as a kit. So all the pieces um, that you see here were soldered on, with the exception of the sensitive ICs or integrated circuits, those are already pre-soldered, so you don't have to worry about messing them up, which is really nice. So oscilloscopes allow us to see real-time changes in our electrical signal. So whereas a multimeter is allowing us to kind of measure uh, the properties of our circuit, the voltage, the current, um, the resistance, etc., the oscilloscope allows us to actually see the voltage signal. So it's really, really handy um, for more complex circuits. If you're dealing with AC signals that have a period of oscillation, or if you need to figure out what the max and min voltage of your circuit is. Um, they're really awesome, and honestly, they're just a really great way to kind of get used to the different types of electrical signals and to play around with them at home. For only 30 bucks, what could go wrong? I'm gonna show you the finished product and um, a couple of really quick examples of what you can use it for. So um, the power source is either a barrel jack or a JST connector. It takes nine volts and you plug it in, it turns on, it gives you a little screen message. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm the DSO 138. Um, and then you get your oscilloscope screen. So to read this, it looks kind of like a screen with graph paper on it. and the vertical axis is the voltage, and the horizontal axis is time. So the different uh, switches on here allow you to kind of zoom in and out. These switches are for the voltage, and here are two switches for um, the uh, time axis. So right now I have it set to five volts and one second, which is pretty boring. Um, but I can see a signal from my finger if I zoom in a little bit. It's also really handy to check uh, voltages across batteries or across uh, variable sources, so sources that might be fluctuating because you can actually physically see those. It's a really great way to practice soldering, to practice identifying electrical components, and reading schematics. So awesome introductory project. Uh, you can buy this kit from gearbest.com and I've included the link in the video description below. And check out the tutorial in the video description below for a write-up on how to do this. And of course, please feel free to ask any questions. More? Oh, oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha. Uh.